Today we're going to talk about this really fun synth. I was actually going to finish filming this video last Wednesday. I like to film the voiceover portions of my videos on Wednesday afternoons after I get off work. Um, however, something happened last Wednesday on January 6th uh, that I want to take a moment to just talk about really quick. For a lot of us, the events of January 6th, although so sad and so shocking to see, they weren't exactly a surprise. Uh, they were the results of the past few years that where we saw this emboldening, encouragement, and also complacency around this rising ultra-hardcore right-wing uh, views uh, rooted in white supremacy and fascism in the United States. The writing's really been on the wall the past few years, and it's part of the reason why in the spring I made the decision to begin including social actions in my videos and also why I pushed voting so hard um, in the fall and leading up to the Georgia Senate uh, elections and the special elections the, the day before on January 5th. Uh, it's my opinion, and I, I was raised to, to view it this way too, that in times like these, being silent is being complicit. So I just want to take this moment to reiterate that uh, myself, my channel, and the community that, that grows as a result of having a channel believes and asserts uh, that Black Lives Matter, trans rights are human rights, and to quote the dead Kennedys, Nazi punks, <laughs> off. Now, let's roll some time lapses. the fine folks that brought you the OK synth, which I guess technically it's just one folk, it, it's one dude, his name's Tommy, anyway, from Oscitone. Uh, this is the new Poly 555. Five, five. It is an analog synth kit, you solder it up yourself, you 3D print the case, yada yada yada, uh, but with a, a fun little secret, it has 20 note polyphony, which is even unheard of in since you buy fully made from a store and it's, you know, it's made a giant carbon footprint and you can only play four notes at a time. 
but 20 note polyphony means that every single note you see here can be played at the exact same time together like a horde of angry 8-bit bees. I mean, don't do that, but you, you could. You can play some nice, you know, major 7 chords maybe. Get some jazz going. That's nice. It's fancy. It's good. But, but how is this possible? How are we getting 20 notes? Uh, well, as the name implies, there's a 5-5 five, 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 uh, IC uh, in here. Uh, specifically 20 of them, though. There is a 5-5-5 five, five, five timer IC circuit for every single note, so that each note is oscillating on its own, as you can see through the plexiglass here. It's very nice design, by the way. Now, uh, and all, all of those oscillations are going through an LM386 uh, amplifier circuit that's right here, out into a speaker. Beautiful square wave analog action. As you just saw, you know, this is a kit. You solder it up yourself. You print the case yourself. I probably spent the most time uh, trying to choose a filament color. I wanted something unique. I also wanted to accentuate the perfect purple PCB that's in here. Uh, and I, I found this lilac PLA and it's just gorgeous. Like it's just, it's just, I can't even, it's major triads only, major triad react only. Uh, the lilac was also kind of inspired after I was perusing the Winter Bloom documentation. There's a lot of lilac, and I was just like, that is beautiful, you know, I should lilac. I should do lilac. Also, for, for today at least, it matches my outfit, which is amazing. I can be feminine when I want to. Speaking as someone who's printed and built the OG OK synth. This was actually like one of the first things I really 3D printed. Like this was honestly the, the release of the Poly 555 brought back some feels, brought back some like nostalgia for me. But having built that, uh, I really fully agree with what the human, the single folk Tommy uh, behind Oskytone wrote in his blog that the Poly 555 is kind of the spiritual successor to the OK synth. Like you definitely feel the bones of the OK kind of coming through here, like this keyboard um, and also just the tone that's used in the 555, but this is just such a, a leap forward, I feel, and also um, really fun to build. You can just tell there, there's been a lot of advancement, not only for the synth, but also for Tommy's design as well, like very, just, just overall really awesome. As a result, this was a really awesome project to kick off the year with. I uh, finished making it over the holiday break that I had from work. Really nice way uh, to kick off 2021. Uh, if you're looking for bloops and bleeps uh, to make and also just a fun you know, project to keep your mind off things, highly recommend this. You're also supporting a really awesome dude, uh, Tommy, and he has released this entire thing open source. So you can see all the guts and he's done some really awesome documentation, both from a blog perspective and also the assembly instructions were top notch. Of course, I'll have the links for everything down in the description. Thank you for watching. Uh, and until next time, this has been Blitz City DIY. Hard to balance on the knee, but I'm doing my best. I just really like the action of the keys, man. It's just really cool.